Hey guys, it is Mike from UyghurTech.com and today I am doing a tutorial for Wild Academy subscribers. If you are not yet subscribed to this channel, please do, please click that subscribe button so you can get all of the fantastic videos. And if you want to see more of my content, you can click the link below in the description and then it'll link you out to my page and you can see all of my stuff there and subscribe to me there. This is video number four of a 10 part GIMP tutorial video series. And today we are gonna be covering the path tool in GIMP. And so let's go ahead and let's take a look. So the first thing we're gonna do, obviously again, is we're gonna create a new canvas. So let's just create a canvas here. Now the path tool is this one right over here. It looks like that. And so what the path tool is going to do is in the last tutorial, we covered the selection tools, mainly the rectangle and the circle. Now those are great, but what if you don't want a rectangle or a circle and you kind of want to create your own selection? Well, that is what the path tool is going to allow you to do. It's going to allow you to, to tell the points you want to, and it'll create a selection from those points. So let's do an example here. Let's say I just want to do a simple triangle. So what you're going to do is you are going to click for the first point and we're just going to make points and then the lines will connect to the points you made. So let's just do one, two, three. And then when you go back up and you want to close out the triangle hold the command key and click right there. And now you have a triangle selected and we just made the shape. Now you can do all sorts of shapes. You can do anything you really want. We just made a triangle for an example. But the next biggest thing that we're going to want to do is let's say we don't want straight lines. Let's say we want them to be a little curved. Well, actually, if you click on these little tiny circles while holding the command key, you can drag them around and make them a little bit curved. So I'll show you what the guys what that looks like right now. If I hold the command key and I click on the circle and I drag it out a little bit, you can start to see now that line coming straight out. That's just my reference point, but it made a little bit of a curved line. So let's say I like that. I'm gonna do over here too. Curve it out a little bit. And let's do it one more time right down here and make that curved. So now we kind of have a little curved triangle. And so that's really important if you don't want the straight lines, but you're kind of making an, an odd shape that you can't really make. Now with this path tool, you can add as many points as you would like. I mean, you could do a hundred points if you really want to, to be really precise. I just want to show you guys generally how to do it. Now the next biggest part about the path tool is that we can make a selection from what we just drew. So if we go up here to select and we do from path, it's now going to be the little dotted lines like we did in our last tutorial video when we had the rectangle. So things you can do now that you have the selected is let's say we want to go paint and maybe we want it to be black and we're going to drop that black in right there and it filled our selection. So what we did is we took that path tool, we made whatever shape we wanted to make, in our case we made a triangle, and then you can make a selection, you can fill it, you can remove it. Um, I'm using the fill feature just to show you guys an example of what we selected, but there are a lot of options of what you can do, do once you have something selected. It really does open up the doors of what you can edit with GIMP. But that those are the simply pure basics of the path tool. And I just want to share that with you guys and let you guys kind of explore and see what you guys can do with it. So again, my name is Mike Weger and I am from WegerTech.com doing this video for Wild Academy. Click the link down in the description below to check out all of my content. Over on my channel, I do all sorts of tech tutorial videos and I also have a weekly live show called Open Mic Night. And in that show, I go over all the latest tech news that went on in the last week. But I hope you guys continue to watch this tutorial video series. Video five will be coming up next. But until I see you guys again, tech on.